My name is Paul Carter. I'm one of the agronomy managers at uh, Pioneer and Agronomy Sciences. Uh, I'd like to talk for a few minutes here about uh, corn tillers. Uh, tillers are the stalks that develop at the uh, base of the plant uh, from underground buds. They're often called suckers with the impression there that has persisted over the years that uh, they draw nutrients from the main plant or they pull nutrients from the main plant and, and they're a negative. And uh, there was a unique study conducted at the University of Wisconsin on uh, the plant physiology of tillers using uh, a unique technique called carbon labeling. Uh, the, the study actually showed that uh, there's a substan substantial amount of sugars that can move from the tillers to the main plant. There's actually vascular connections or like plant veins that connect the two and the preferential movement is from the tillers to the main plant rather than the other way around. So uh, there's really four things to keep in mind uh, with tillers. Uh, number one, uh, look at plant distribution within the row, uh, plant population, and within row spacing if you see a lot of tillers. Uh, even though uh, hybrids can vary some in their tendency to develop tillers, uh, all hybrids have that capacity. And if you have good growing conditions and there's relatively low plant populations for the conditions, or if there's some gaps in the row, uh, you're gonna see some tillers. So uh, think about that uh, as you assess your fields and your conditions. The second point is that there really is no evidence that tillers have a negative effect on, on the corn plant. And for points three and four, uh, there's really probably two effects that, you, that tillers can have. One, and point number three of our four, is that usually the small tillers that develop are gonna be shaded by the main plant and they're gonna shrivel, shrivel away and die. Now, uh, the last point, if you do have gaps in the stand or ex extremely good growing conditions and you have some large tillers, uh, those leaves on those tillers can actually feed the main plant in those situations. Or if uh, the main plant is damaged due to frost or hail and uh, is not going to produce grain. If you have large tillers, uh, those tillers can actually produce grain and, and contribute to grain yield in those situations. So as you observe tillers in the field, think about the plant physiology and the fact that uh, tillers don't remove nutrients from the main plant. They actually contribute. 